Hello everyone and welcome back to the Banterweight Boxing YouTube channel with me your host Michael Waite. I hope you're all well, I hope you all had a good week so far and we're back again talking about boxing but there is a difference here. We're not talking about the standard boxing, we're talking about YouTube boxing and in particular it's Joe Fournier versus KSI. Now, before you all come for me in the comments and say, you know, I'm a plastic for talking about this and watching this, I don't really care. I find it quite entertaining. I enjoy it. Um, I think I think personally it's good for boxing. I think it brings new eyes to the sport. And yeah, it's a bit of Hollywood. It's a bit WWE-esque, but sometimes it's quite nice to see that, a bit of a difference from, from uh, the normal kind of very serious boxing. And I don't think it's doing any, any harm. Um, but, and also as well, when you look at fighters like KSI, and I will call him a fighter because he has dedicated, you know, this period of his life to boxing. And I believe fighters like him in the YouTube scene um, have shown respect to the sport and have not made a mockery of it. I do feel there's some YouTube kind of boxing and some events I've seen where I'm like, this is A, quite unsafe and B, kind of, I don't know, it just kind of shits on boxing, really. It makes a joke of it. But I feel in some of the cases, you know, the Jake Pauls and the KSI, you've, in my perspective, as someone who's never got in the ring as well, I can only respect KSI for, A, getting in the ring, taking a risk, especially when he doesn't need the money. He's not doing it for financial gain. He's a very well-off man and is very successful in his own right in other, you know, in other ventures. But, yeah, I... I I personally quite enjoy it, um, and so, yeah, if you want to hate on it, go for it. Uh, but yeah, in terms of this video, I'm obviously going to do a little bit of a breakdown of how I think the fight will go, but before I kind of get into that, I suppose, I, I would take a second to just kind of show my appreciation really for what that kind of, I think it's, I think it's called Misfits, the, the boxing platform that this is a lot of the boxing has been done under, um, I think alongside DAZN. And I would say massive props to them because they've clearly recognised a big gap in the kind of boxing market. You know, um, they realise that boxing now is more than just what happens in the ring. It's about selling the fight before and even after um, what happens in the ring. Um, and I know that's probably not what the purists want to see, but that's the the reality. You know, some of my favourite fights as a, as a boxing fan were like Dillian White versus Derek Chisora. And the reason for that was not only was that a war inside the ring, but it was just incredibly entertaining for the whole, um, you know, for the whole fight camp, for the for the press conferences and the back and forths and, you know, and all of that. And I think that's a, a massive part of boxing. And I think the misfits and the, these kind of influencers have seen that and they do very well at promoting fights, you know. Uh, I think a lot of, you know, the Joe Joyce's of the world could probably take some tips if they, you know, if they wanted to up up their pay-per-views. But I think they've really captured a gap in the market at that. And also, you know, it's hard to, hard to explain the next bit, but, you know, you do see, <laughs> for their levels, you see quite interesting fights, you know. I think one thing that normal boxing or the kind of standard boxing suffers from quite a bit is I would say nowadays 60-70% of the cards put on, I have a pretty good idea of who's going to win the fight. You know, um, there's you obviously we had Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis recently, and that was so exciting because it was a fight that people were leaning to Davis, but was a real 50-50 fight, and people were actually torn about who was going to win that. And those are quite a rarity now in boxing with people trying to protect their O's and, and all of that. But in this YouTube scene, um, you know, we are seeing compelling fights. You know, things like Nate Diaz versus Jake Paul. That is a really like, I actually don't know what would happen there. It's the same like Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul and um, KSI versus Logan Paul. It's, it's interesting because you're just not sure what's going to happen. And that's what boxing is about. It's about that entertainment. Anyway, I've gone on a bit of a rant there. Let's talk about KSI versus Joe Fournier. Now, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I had to do a bit of research on Joe Fournier because honestly, I didn't know who he was. Apparently, he's a billionaire. I'm not really buying into that. Nevertheless, he seems very entertaining. Uh, I saw him in the uh, Gloves Are Off with KSI and he was uh, making a mockery of KSI, in fairness to him. He's very quick, 
very you know seems quite savvy um yeah it was really funny and it's been a good um kind of dance partner for KSI to help sell this fight in terms of his actual technical boxing ability they're selling the fight as him being um a former WBA lightweight like world champion which is just like absolute nonsense like that's just not real like I've checked on box rec and there's no record of this fight of him becoming a world champion I, I did some more research into it apparently it was like an unsanctioned fight so it's not even on box rec this world title fight so I think we can quite happily call BS on that um, and that was also backed up when I looked at a his actual record where I think there was a good three or four fighters who had never won a fight before they fought him, either being a prospect or literally had had a career of just losing. Um, so yeah, not not a great sign in terms of his boxing ability. And not only does his record not really do <laughs> really help him out, but I did have a quick look on YouTube about and see his highlights. He looks okay. Looks like he's, you know, he's obviously boxed before, he's had fights. It looks like the basics are there. He knows how to throw a punch. He doesn't look like some of these YouTube fighters I've seen where you're just like, God, did you even hit pads? Like, who let you get into a ring? Like, he, he's he got some fundamentals there. He's also had a few knockouts, so I assume he's got some power behind his, uh, behind his, uh, his straight rights and stuff. But, yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. I would say in terms of my criticisms of his skill would be when I was just seeing him throw punches, although he's knocked people out, I just didn't see any zap or any kind of, I don't know, oomph on any of the punches. I don't I don't think that's anything KSI needs to really worry about in terms of punching power. Um, also as well, he is 40 years old um, and KSI is a young, young guy, so not sure how that's going to fare for him. You know, I suppose it's only six rounds, but still, you know, if you're not, a, not used to boxing, 40 years old, I'm not, I'm not sure how how his stamina is gonna gonna hold up um there but yeah in terms of KSI you know I've, I've watched most of KSI's fights uh he's a bit erratic um hits very hard good heart um you know stays in the fight will keep going even if he's he's losing rounds but clearly has some good punching power knocked a few of his last opponents out and you know like the first round or or whatever but yeah I would say he he Technically, he doesn't look the most aesthetic, but sometimes that helps, you know, sometimes being a bit erratic, being a bit different can um, can actually, play, you know, can aid you in a fight, you know, can make you unpredictable and, and difficult to time. So, yeah, it, it, that's a, an interesting one. Um, in terms of how I see the fight going, I'm uh, predicting KSI to win. I think he's the younger fitter stronger kind of fighter i think um he's also been quite active as well um so i'm i'm picking ksi to win i imagine he'll knock him out um probably like maybe late actually maybe the kind of fifth round that's not that late but i suppose in the context of their fight it is but yeah i'd pick ksi to get the ko in the fifth round but it's an exciting one i like i like it I, i'm definitely i'm gonna watch it you know um i've got my design subscription i think i have to pay a bit extra for it but it'll, it'll be exciting to see and i think there's a few other interesting fights on the undercard again which are pretty equally unpredictable uh but yeah i think ksi will will uh get the w here in the build-up they not only are they kind of trying to show um, Joe Fournier to be a former world champion, they're also making a lot of comparisons to the Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury fight um, and saying, you know, if KSI gets through this, he's kind of on par with Jake Paul or actually surpasses Jake Paul because he lost to Tommy Fury. I don't buy into this at all. I think um, the Tommy Fury fight was a lot harder fight than, than this one. Tommy Fury, I know, had quite a padded record as well in terms of the opponents but he was again um in his physical prime boxing you know not the best opponents but still you know contenders and and see not contenders <laughs> i'm trying to say i'm trying to find the right word but still cr slightly credible opponents um and also from a boxing background and stuff and was looking to actually pursue a career in boxing 
Um, so I don't think that they are to um, they are on par. You know, when I look at Tommy Fury and I look at Joe Fournier and their highlights and stuff like that, they're they're worlds apart. Tommy Fury is technically a quite a, quite a solid fighter. Um, so yeah, I don't buy into that, but I still think it'd be interesting and you know a good a good win if uh, if KSI got it. You know, uh, the guys had boxing experience, so it's it'd be credit there. But it'd be interesting to see what happens and what um, KSI does after this. You know, hopefully they make the Jake Paul fight. I think that'd be great TV. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, do drop a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. That will probably be back on normal boxing though. All right, bye-bye.